DataSmith is the basic tool for populating the CM4D database with both nominal and measurement results data. It is a universal tool for translating data in its native format. Typically, the nominal data is exported from a CAD file, and the measurement results data is an output of your data collection device. DataSmith can process any data represented in ASCII, meaning plain text format. Data is processed by the use of a translator, created by the user, for any format of data file. For a given data format, only one translator needs to be created. This translator can then be applied to any data which shares that format. A translator is not part-specific or feature-specific. Any two parts whose data files share the same format can be processed by the same translator. Any new features added to a measurement routine will be processed by the translator as long as the feature data is formatted appropriately. A translator is created by opening a data file from within the DataSmith application and creating instructions to identify the needed information within the file. Focus on the left window pane, where you can create a new translator document by clicking on the New Document icon on the toolbar. From the User tab, you can then add your data file by right-clicking on Files to View and selecting New File. The file will show up in the right window pane. Notice that this is the plain text data file exactly as it is output from the data collection device or exported from CAD. You can now create a set of instructions from the Developer tab to highlight the desired pieces of data within the file. These instructions are built up from terms contained in a set of drop-down menus. To access these menus, first select the node for the section of the file containing the information you wish to identify. The main sections include Header, Footer, and Features. First, you'll create instructions to identify the Header section. Double-clicking on any of the undefined instructions will produce the drop-down menus at the top of the screen. A set of instructions might read, Mark the current position as begin, Go to the end of the line, Mark the current position as end. This will identify the first line of the data file as your header section. In the right window pane, you will see that the first line of the data file has been highlighted in a color that matches the highlighting of your header node in the left window pane. Once your header has been highlighted, you can create similar instructions for characteristics within the header you wish to identify, such as the part label, date, or operator. Here you will see a completed translator. Again, the colored highlighting of the contents of the data file in the right window pane will match that of the associated node in the left window pane. As you can see, you can create instructions to identify the section of your data file which contains features and feature characteristics. By right-clicking on a feature node and selecting Properties, a feature can be defined as one of 13 different feature types, such as point, hole, slot, or stud. By right-clicking on a characteristic node and selecting Properties, a feature characteristic can be associated with one of 22 different types of characters, such as position, X, Y, Z, distance, angle, vector I, vector J, and vector K. Once an instruction is created for a single component of text, DataSmith propagates the instruction throughout the entire data file, finding other similar features and feature characteristics. Instructions for features and characteristics can be easily duplicated or edited in point-and-click fashion, useful for creating instructions that are similar to one another.
Several tools within Datasmith are available to the user to ensure the correct information will be pushed to the database. In addition to the colored highlighting of the contents of the data file, there is an overview window, which is useful for viewing emerging patterns as features and characteristics are identified in the entire file. There is also a grid view available in the right window pane to show the identified features and characteristics in a matrix, with color-coded cells identifying empty cells and invalid questionable or successfully processed data. A single translator document can contain multiple sets of instructions or configurations for processing multiple data file formats. To apply the translator to a new data file, simply open the data file from within the appropriate configuration by right-clicking on Files to View and selecting New File. If desired, multiple data files can be opened at once within a single configuration for simultaneous processing. Once a translator is successfully created, the data can be sent to the database. Outputting the data to the database is as simple as following the instructions on the Output Setup window. Upon outputting the data, the Output Summary view in the right window pane generates a record of the data processed. Many additional features within Datasmith are available in the toolbar and drop-down menus for advanced customization and ease of use.